You know, I want to tell you a little bit about my channel and I want to tell you what you're going to get if you subscribe to my channel. But first, I want to tell you what you're not going to get. You're not going to get special effects. You're not going to get AI voices. You're not going to get all the crap that just bugs the uh, out of me <laughs> when I watch YouTube videos. You're going to get me speaking about trees and you're going to get a reality check I'm down to earth. I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can with you. Sometimes I make mistakes and sometimes people correct me and I appreciate that. I've got a community of people out there and if you've been part of my community for a long time and if you've been a long time subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. There's so many of you guys out here that comment and I try to answer as many as I can. Sometimes I get too many comments. I just can't keep up, but I try. I really do try. So if you have a question, you know, hit me up. I'll, I'll do what I can to help you out. My channel is all about teaching people about trees and tree care and what's right, but also what's wrong. Because if you learn what's wrong, then you start questioning things that you see in our industry. You see when people screw up, you see topped trees, you see trees that have been stripped out, you see all the issues that I talk about and that can help you if you're a tree owner or if you're in the business maybe you'll correct these problems maybe you'll see that uh, topping a tree is a mistake i try really hard to teach people i like to think of myself as an online mentor mentors are hard you know i i had a few good mentors when i was younger and i i'm eternally grateful for this fact that I had these old guys that were in the industry that took me under their wing and they taught me what I need to know about this industry, about tree work, about tree care. Now, some of these guys advised me some pretty poor advice. <laughs> some of these guys were old school and uh, they didn't know any better. But you learn from the good, you learn from the bad, you learn from all of it. Take it all into consideration. So I want to help you guys out there if you're in the industry or you folks out there who love your trees, I want to really encourage you to pay attention to this channel and go back to the old stuff. There, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years now. And if you're fairly new to this channel, there's so much stuff out there that you would appreciate. Some of the jobs I've done, some of the things I've done, some of the, you know, the types of situations that I've been in, you know, that's what being a mentor is all about. Teaching what I have been through, but in this case, it's teaching through video. You know, YouTube is an amazing new concept. I remember when it first came out in 2006, a friend of mine told me about it. He says, oh, there's this new concept. You, you can have a television channel all yourself and you know, and it's free, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. I thought, that sounds pretty crazy. Well, I, I started a YouTube channel and it took off really slowly. But I saw the value of it and I kept it up and I kept it up and I kept it up. And ultimately, about 10 years ago, I got a couple of videos that went viral and that started, you know, promoting my videos a little bit more. And, you know, my videos are kind of a unique niche. Not everybody loves trees. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of irritated at the fact that there are so many people in this world that don't love trees. I mean, where would we be without our trees? Where would we be without these amazing plants that grow huge, that produce oxygen that we can breathe and produce the shade, they produce food, they bring in wildlife, they cultivate the soil through dropping of all the leaves and, and make things fertile for you know, the future growth. <laughs> there is so much that I can say positive about trees, but most people just say, yeah, that's a tree. <laughs> they can't even tell you what they are. <laughs> you know, I used to teach a class for uh, elementary kids. It was at the uh, local elementary school that my kids went to. And, and I, I would go in and take the kids out in the woods and I would tell him, I said, you know what? I'm going to teach you guys 10 trees that are 
native to this area. And when you learn these trees and you go home, I guarantee you, you guys are going to know how to identify more trees than any of your parents. And for the most part, that was true. And we had a lot of fun. I, I took these kids out in the woods and, you know, I showed them all the trees. I picked branches and I'd hand a branch to a kid and say, okay, you're the Douglas fir. And I'd pick another branch and I'd say, okay, you're the redwood. Picked another one, you're the madrone. And then when I came back, I said, what's that tree? And then all the kids would shout it out. And we had a lot of fun. I felt like the Pied Piper of tree care. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going on and on and on on this little short video here. I'm up to uh, almost six minutes of gabbing. Anyway, if you're not a subscriber, gosh darn it, would you subscribe to my channel? You know, click that little bell so you get alerted. You know, tell your friends. You know, I'm sure you've got people that you know in your life that love trees and would like to learn more. So I'm going to keep doing the best I can. And for the, you know, the life of me, I, I don't know how long I'm going to keep at it. You know, I'm 70 years old. <laughs> I feel young though, you know, it's interesting. I'm still climbing five days a week. Thanks a lot.